Thanks for checking out my video, guys. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at jpic underscore odeath. Good afternoon, everybody. JPEG Death here, and uh, today we're going to be showing you how I built a uh, power shed for one of my settlements. I've never seen anything like it, and I figured I would uh, share share what I'd made, and uh, hopefully it inspires anybody else who might want to uh, build something as well. So what we're basically going to do is going to be building a um, a box car structure here. In this case, I've, I've chosen the one that has the three ribs, and then the closed one with the door. And apparently, I missed my uh, missed my uh, my base here. So I just made myself a little platform to build it on. That way, I didn't have to worry about uneven terrain. Um, what we're going to be doing is covering this with uh, either barn or warehouse pieces. I like the barn personally right now for this one, but you can build it any way you want to. Um, the idea is it's basically going to be an armored um, shed for a uh, large generator. So we're going to basically clip some walls to the outside of this thing. And it um, you can use whatever you want to, but uh, for me it was just a question of building something that was... Oh, come on, yeah, clip. Building something that was uh, larger than my uh, boxcars. And at the end here, we're going to put in um, some lights. Uh, it was kind of a, a nice effect last time, so I figured we'd go for it again. So we're just going to slap these last couple pieces of wall on here. And um, at the ends, we're going to cover these up with the broken um, partial walls. And then we are going to glitch in um, a spot to cover that gap with here in a little bit. But one of the things that I really do like about this building is that it, um, the shape of it, it's not quite the same as any of the other buildings because it is uh, less wide than a uh, standard roof, or excuse me, a standard tile. Here, we're going to put a, a roof on it right now, and I'll show you what I mean. Um, for this particular one, we're going to use this style of roof here. But because it is less wide than the actual uh, structure itself, it's going to have a little overhang on one side or the other. And you can decide what you're going to do with that. Uh, for me, in this instance, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, you know, from the side, the profile is a little awkward, but you have a little bit of an overhanging eave on this one side. If you felt like it, you could even uh, enclose this opposite side over here and make it a solid wall. But um, I put it as a as a, a walkthrough uh, for the for the power. So inside of here, we're going to put in a few things real quick. Um, we're going to put in power conduit on the wall. We're going to glitch some power through from the inside to the out. We'll do it on both ends. This allows you to be able to um, give it a, a different kind of look at night. Um, I even liked especially the, um, the cycling lights in here. Let you pick different colors for uh, whatever you're going to be doing. Um, let's see where those at. Miscellaneous, unless I'm mistaken. There they are. So um, the way I see it, we're going to have uh, a couple different lights inside that are going to match the same lights on the outside. And if you felt like doing more of these, uh, certainly it's your prerogative. Like I said, I just thought it was kind of an interesting thing to have. Um, never quite had anything like it before. The shape of it is just too, a little too different from anything else that we've seen. It's not standard. 
So by attaching these cycling lights in, we can wire them up. And in case anybody's not familiar with this particular technique, the uh, the wire glitch, you basically grab hold of not the conduit itself, or the w uh, but the wire. If I can get a hold of it here, come on, you. If we can get it close enough, you hear that little zap noise that makes when the when you build a new wire. But as you can tell, I'm not dragging one. Um, it made the noise, and I'm going to come over here to my next conduit inside and push the button again, and it's going to create a, a wire that runs through the wall, uh, even though it's not actually a real wire. Uh, rather, it wouldn't. It breaks the rules of the wires. Let's say that. Um, and you can pretty much do that for any distance, any obstruction doesn't really matter just as long as you can grab hold of the wire so here I'll do it again to get through the other side of this we're just gonna grab the wire here you hear the noise I'm not dragging a wire but I'm currently working on the glitch so I come here to this opposite conduit push the triangle again for me because I'm on the PlayStation and it comes over here um, the only weird thing is now my menus are kind of glitched it won't let me build an item um, unless I back off and then come back to it so I just go down the menu a couple times and come back up, and then it allows me to start building again. Um, it works out pretty well uh, for a lot of awkward things. You can cover really long distances. You can get through things that are otherwise giving you just a little bit of trouble. But we are going to build into this one a, um, a large fusion generator. Let's see put it on this side. I think we're probably going to have to rug glitch this one in. I don't think it'll go by itself because it's too oop, too tall for the room. No, it's going to go. We'll be fine. So let's just stack it on this edge right here. And then connect it to our... Uh, if I don't push the wrong button. Connect it to... Um, <clears throat> our other lights here. Oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to glitch that one too, because that's because its conduit is up through the roof right now. So I'll call it create a glitch, and there we go. Now we're on to it. And then back down the menu. Oh, sorry, back down the menu again to get back into my build items. So now you can see that we have our cycling lights on here. You can make those any color you want to. Um, but now we've got them on the inside, we've got them on the outside. So you can pick lots of colors, a couple colors. Uh, heck, you don't have to have them at all if you don't want to. But um, this was what I, I chose to do. I liked the idea of a little bit of backlight. I'm going to take and we're going to use the uh, concrete pillar glitch to select all on these other two sections of wall that we built. And we're going to find a, a happy spot and see if we can't uh, get this where it belongs. Yeah, it doesn't like it right now. Oops. Because I've already got a settlement here, I uh, kind of came over to a, a weird spot on the edge. And so that kind of puts me at the edge of a, of a build boundary. So we're going to get the select all again, move the pillar out just a little bit. It should be just a smidgen more forgiving with me now. Except for some reason, it does not like me right now. That is, uh, that's interesting. This will be the fifth time I've done this. Oh. And, uh, suddenly it's going to start hating my guts, and I don't know why. Hmm. Well, we will uh, we'll glitch it slightly to the outside. It's n oh, it's not terrible noticeable. Carry this one down to the other end. Grab the opposite wall. And for the pillar glitch, you just want to be close enough um, that hopefully with a select all on the pillar, it will grab the items. And then we can just drop it into place over here. I 
Oh, come on, you pain in my ass. I've heard some builders use the word fiddly. I kind of like that, because you do have to fiddle around with some of these to make them fit into place. Uh, that one's just a little bit low, but for the sake of a demonstration, I'm not going to redo it. So this gives us um, a different kind of a, of a building. And um, there's a lot of different things you could do with it at this point. Um, solid doors. You know, if, if you wanted to put in a powered door instead of um, these other doorways, you certainly could. That would make it a little more secure from a, a role play perspective. But... Um, for me, like I said, I, I just built in these screen doors here. And then the last thing we want to worry about is a little bit of a floor. Um, you might notice that because it is stuck on the boxcar, we're officially floating just a little bit. So if you would wanted to use just a pillar glitch to drop this whole structure down into the ground somewhere, uh, you don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, it could just disappear as is. But if you're going to be building it uh, like I did, I built this one on uh, my other structure on top of the red rocket gas station you can't glitch it down into the floor um, so you're gonna need to put some sort of flooring on it um, I chose to stay with the barn tab and um, you can put it's uh, gonna be a bit of a jerk about it there you go as, soon, as long as you get one on the outside you can um, build and pull the floors out. Um, now, if you wanted to on this point, you know, like I said, it's a very awkward sh uh, size. So no two floors that you put together are actually going to cover what it is. Um, but you can... Gli uh, not glitch, but just... Uh, come on. Oh, it's going to be a pain in my butt. You can put um, one of these larger sections of floor on. Now it wants to clip to the wall. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> All right, well, we're, it's, it's going to want to clip to the wall in this instance. So I'm just going to let it. Um, or, actually, I have no idea what it clips to. That's a very awkward floor. It's crooked. Um, well, it's a poor demonstration on that count. Not terribly flawless. But uh, the premise is the same. You have... Now a building, like I said, it's a little bit of a different size and shape. You don't usually see uh, something that's narrow, but you can decorate it up and do whatever you want with it. Um, I also worked on a uh, the concept of either building a shop uh, or a small house uh, with this very same premise. And to do so, we're just going to swap out a few of the items. Um, we are going to add a front porch to be able to make it into, for example, a house by just uh, clipping these to the, the overhanging eave on this side. We can add some pillars for support. Oh, I'm sorry. When I messed this last time... I did a different style uh, for the floor. I had them clipped out off the front of the building. Which because of this other floor now, it doesn't want to let me. Or maybe I just need one inside first. Maybe that's what I need. There we go. So off the front of the porch, I'm just picking this off the barn tab. And then we'll go back into our miscellaneous. Oh, sorry. Backed off one too many. 
I can our miscellaneous here and we'll install some pillars to help support the roof structure. And you can see that as a, at a glance it uh, kind of helps com complete that structure just a little bit better. There's a little bit of an awkward gap on the back of it, but nothing too terrible. You know, and if you weren't feeling, um, you know, that you wanted this to be armored, um, you know, you can build the structure and then officially remove the box cars. And then you've got just a, a, a structure that is the shape and size of the box cars while being uh, more rustic and finished um, than using the actual box car as a structure. So um, that is the concept in a nutshell. Um, I'll be using these in a couple of different settlements. I'm going to start playing with some variations. Uh, pretty, sh pretty soon I'm pretty thinking I'm going to have shops, um, maybe a house or two, but they're pretty pretty small, so little small houses maybe. Uh, who knows, maybe it even function as like an outhouse. Anyway, that is uh, my idea. Um, you know what, let's I'm gonna walk you into my settlement real quick and I will show you one in my practical application. We've got one built, like I said, up here on top of my Red Rocket gas station. Um, and uh, I built mine with orange, used red lights, and at night time it, uh, it glows up real pretty. Uh, fits the the rocket theme, but um, for me, I didn't actually finish the floor underneath this. Uh, I just put stuff on either side. I'll have to probably fix that later or glitch something in front of it that you won't see it. But that's um, that's my th that's that's my power shed. So let's have a look at nighttime. Thanks for tuning in with me. Remember, JPEG underscore O Death on Twitter. Give a thumbs up if you approve. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. Here we go. This is my installed and finished shack. Built this one inside an orange container. Filled it up with red lights an idea of what it can be so thank you very much for tuning in with me i'll see you all again another day you take care